you. You and Neil and how you did it. How did you come from that? How did you turn out to be so successful and well-adjusted? Teachers. Oh. A couple of very dedicated teachers who recognized our potentials, opened our minds, some doors, showed us possibilities. There's one in particular took Neil under her wing and nurtured her talent for art, looked after her, until I was in a position to do that myself. Is this somebody that we should notify now? No. She died oh. years ago. Ah. Is there somebody else? Are there other people that should be notified? Stop it! That's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't need to be told by you what needs to be done. You need to control everything, don't you? You know, there's an awful lot of irony here. You despise me for whatever imagined reason. Uh, Neil didn't. Neil liked me. She genuinely liked me, and I liked her, and we hit it off from the first day we met. You see, we got a real family tragedy here. Because your hatred, your hatred deprived your sisters of whatever sibling joy was left for us. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi is the service here as good as it was before? No, you know, things have really gone downhill since you stopped managing the place. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is Lisa here? No, she's up in the penthouse. Actually, Julie was going to go up and see how she was doing after we ate. Oh. Would you, um, do you mind asking her if I can come up and talk to her? I haven't had a chance to tell her how sorry I am about Neil and Scott. Of course. Hello, everyone. Thanks. Oh, hey. hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, this is my husband, Damien Grimaldi. This is Isabel White, one of Lucinda's executives at Worldwide. And this is Julie Wendell, Caleb Snyder, Julie? Isabel White. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see you again, Lily. You too. Uh, you must have known Neil Alcott. This yeah. Is sad. Yeah, we're all really sad about it. Especially your mother. They work so close together. So, uh, Damien, I'm surprised you're socializing here and not at the Yacht Club, seeing as you own the joint now. Well, first of all, I'm trying not to mix pleasure with business. This is true. <laughs> Secondly, left the place so well organized and one itself. Oh. Well, we're sort of hoping that Kurt can do the same thing for Worldwide. Well, that's very nice of you to say that. It's going to take a lot of effort, though, because we have to replace not only Neil, but maybe Scott, too. Mm. And I can't trust Lucinda about any of that now. Mm. Speaking of Lucinda, how did she react to the news that you sold the Yacht Club to Lily and me? Actually, I don't think she knows it yet. I haven't really had much time to tell her. Paperwork, John? No, I, I, I. I... Oh, <laughs> it's uh, my uh, toothbrush and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh here, here. Brandy. Thank you. <sighs> to a new beginning. I'll drink to that. How's Jason? Good. Good. He seems good. Still planning on maybe permanent practice here in Oakdale? 
Oh, I don't know. I mean, he said he's, he's looking into a few options. Options? Well, options are good to have. He, he understands that I'm not one of them anymore. I thought maybe the two of you were still rather close since you said you hadn't heard from him. Well, you know, I mean, he would just call occasionally and, you know, see how the boys were doing and, hey, uh, you know, just keep in touch. Touch. Touch is nice. Mm. I miss touch. MJ, maybe he's had a bad dream or something. Maybe he'll go back to sleep. Oh. Hmm. His diaper, it's probably his diapers. He's gonna wake Aaron. I'll get it. You stay here. Okay. Up, up, up. This is going to be a record for a diaper change. We all wish you were here with us tonight, Lisa. Well, in fact, Andy says he'll come pick you up if you want. No, I understand. No, I think it's a good idea. All right, darling. Talk to you in the morning. We love you, dear. Bye-bye. What was it you thought was such a good idea? Tom's going to go over and take Lisa to Park Forest tomorrow. Be with Helen Eldridge. I didn't know that Tom and Margo would be back from the wedding that soon. I hope so. I'm going to need Margo here working on the Olcott case. I think it's great that they were both able to be at Barbara and Hal's wedding. I guess Paul knows by now. Barbara must have called him. He's got to be really happy. He's got his stepdad back, and he's got a new baby brother all at once. Mm, I can't wait to see that little Will. Hello. Hi. 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 Come join us. Have some fruit or cake or something. Thank you, but we just finished an entire pizza at the Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife said to say hi, Eddie. Oh, she did. It's nice to know she hasn't forgotten me. We haven't really had a chance to see each other these days with the schedule she's on. Well, we just came back so I could change into some more comfortable clothes to go dancing at the cellar. You're welcome to join us if you want. Oh, no, thanks. I probably wouldn't enjoy myself without Courtney there. Hey, we ought to get Elaine to work with Mike on Tidewater. She's got a great PR sense. Good idea. We definitely have some damage control here. Emily, I'm so sorry I pulled you away from Royce tonight. Now that I look at all this stuff, we could have gone over this on the phone. Oh, it's okay, really. In fact, Royce insisted that I come. And I'm really sorry that you've had to handle both M&A and Walsh's cases since I've been out. And uh, I know that there's been a lot of work on Stricko that you're not at all familiar uh, with. That's going to go a lot easier when Cal gets back. But in the meantime, Link has been really helpful. He's been filling me in on all the <laughs> gaps. And Link, from what I remember, he couldn't stand anything that had to do with the corporate world. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> but it must have been really rough on you when you guys were seeing each other. In fact, it must be rough having Link around again. No. No, it, it really hasn't been a problem. So how is Royce? Mm. Connor, he's just devastated. He tried to get some work done today while I was at the office when Lucinda showed up to offer her condolences, of course. Uh, Last thing he needed to deal with. Well, you know, I'm sure Lucinda must be having a really hard time, too, though. Losing Neil, not knowing where Scott is, although I can't believe he would have anything to do with Neil's death. Oh, I can't either. Unfortunately, Royce does not feel the same way. Really? Mm. You know what I can't believe is that Royce and Neil are brother and sister. Do they have any other family? Oh. Yeah, who is it? August and Lucy. Cal, worry, Cal, folks, run for sweetheart. Yeah, why did you tell me you were coming back tonight? Because mm, I know how much you like surprises. <laughs> Surprise. 